welcome to another video my name is Sanjay Prakash and today I will tell you about an important topic the difference between append and append to most of the candidates and most of the consultants are not clear about this topic append and append to are two privileges that are companion to each other let me tell you a scenario so that it will be better to understand right I have a enrollment entity and enrollment table an enrollment entity or table has a lookup called as course right so this is a lookup this course lookup is pointing to course entity so the relationship is like the course is parent and the enrollment is child if you think that there is a lookup which is pointing to a an entity that entity is called as parent and the lookup where it is available that entity is called as child so en enrollment is child here and course is parent here now whenever you create a one to one relationship a lookup field is created in the child entity which will point to the parent entity this is the concept between a uh, concept behind one to one relationship now append app, append and append to so what i have done let us go to the go to understand the secret rule first so when I will go to custom entity for sales person, I will first go to uh, class. Uh, sorry, I will first go to course entity. This course entity is a custom entity, right? And this course entity has user level create permission, user level read permission, then user level write permission privilege and user level delete permission i do not have pre append append to other things essential only create retrieve update and delete user level and on the enrollment enrollment i have also the same logic create user level read user level and write user level and update delete user level i do not have append append to now we are expecting that uh, as we have already given create privilege update privilege delete privilege and read privilege the user with this security role salesperson must should have uh, you know uh, should have the permission to create uh, enrollments right now let us see what happens i have saved this and i will go to the screen of that salesperson and try to refresh it press ctrl f5 when i will go to enrollment and create a new enrollment we will see the course field is locked why it is locked i have already given create permission so that i am expecting that the user should create the enrollment without an issue there the problem comes append and append to append and append to both are complemented that means if you are having a one is to relationship between two entities you must have append to permission in the in the parent entity and append permission in the child entity right that's why as because i do not have any append append to permission between these two entity for that security role for this user that's why this is not enabled now let us go to the course and enable append to course is the parent entity right so i'll go here and enable the append to let us see what happens i'll go to course this is the course and this is the append to right this is the privilege append to privilege now what i will do i will select just user level append to i will not select append for this course course is a parent entity for me so i'll enable append to user level and save it let us understand that means what we have enabled this parent entity can allow other entity to append to the append to itself that is the meaning of this right when you are enabling append to permission on a entity it means that the parent entity can allow child entity to append to the parent record right so I have enabled append to permission on the course that means parent entity now let us go and refresh this I have already saved it I'll go here and try to refresh 
have refreshed but still it is locked why because although we have enabled append to permission on course record or course entity the enrollment itself do not do not allow appending so you have to go to enrollment and enable append permission that's why it, i told you append and append to mark permi permission are complementary if you do not if you skip one it will not work so what i will do i'll go to enrollment and enable append permission so i'll go to enrollment this is enrollment and i will go to append permission and enable this what does it mean it means that this enrollment this is the child entity this can append parent entities if they can this can append with parent entities where sorry this can append any child any parent entity to itself so click on save i have not given append to for here because uh, en enrollment record is not used as a lookup so you have to enable only to only append to permission for the parent entity which is used as a lookup in parent uh, lookup in child entity so i'll go here and try to refresh no not not this one i'll go to this screen other screen yeah here i will refresh now it is locked but when it will refresh the course entity or course lookup will be available for me you see guys now the person can select now you understood right how uh, append and append to works together between two entities when they are related one is to n or one to many relationship if you skip one then it will not work like that student is also locked so student is a parent entity and enrollment is a child entity so you have to do that uh, again what you need to do you need to go to student and enable append to permission on student and append permission on enrollment so let us go and test that i'll go to custom entity student and enable append to permission because this is parent entity so i'll enable append to permission let's say business unit level save you can use user level also there is no issue and in the enrollment the append permission is already there so i do not need to uh, again enable that let us check that in the enrollment the append permission is already available which will solve uh, this purpose also now save it save it save it now once you save it and refresh you will get this student enabled right so enable this so refresh this so that you will see the student is enabled right now he can choose any student and any course understood so this one uh, this um, append and append to revolves around lookup fields where there is a one is to one relationship exist i hope it understood properly if any confusion comment it so that i will clarify thank you guys cheers bye and if you have not subscribed please subscribe this channel see you again bye